All right, folks. Uh, today we're going to be doing some night flying here. It's a quite peaceful night. So we have the phoenix out here and the pop wing. So we're going to do a little bit of phoenix. As you notice from my previous video, we added more lights to it. I haven't done any videos of the new lights on it. So it's a tra tranquil night and kind of ask for a better night. So here we, we go. I thought we did it with the, with the lights on. Yeah, we, with the old setup. This is the new setup. So we're going to take this off. Oh, do you mean ever since I put all those new lights on, I thought we had more with the Phoenix on it. That was way over my head. I couldn't get that. Here's some of those there's some of those night lanterns. Oh, look at those night lanterns taking off over there. Go take the plane down that way, and I'll try to get the plane going past those 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 lanterns. There's three of them right in the, right in your lights there. Go take the plane right past those lanterns, buddy, and I'll, I can get the the plane in there. And I I'm, I got those lanterns too. I thought we videotaped with all the new lights on the Phoenix. That's what three of three of them up at one time. Here goes another one, or the fourth one. I think the fourth one got stuck in a tree. Or did it? videotapes but it's a lot more quieter than when you come down here with that junk. Music's music but that's garbage. Huh? Yeah that one must have got stuck in a tree there. It was going up and Here's your plane, and there's. Where's the other ones go? They burn out after a while. Oh, they do? Yeah. Well, I thought they'd go farther in the atmosphere before they go out. No, I think they have like five minutes of burn. And then what happens then? I mean, just the wind takes them away then? Yeah, they land on the ground, the fire will degrade them. So they don't really. Just another one. <laughs> they must have a whole. They have like a whole box. Yeah. Of them. Got bats. The bats are out tonight. Hey, you bring out the pop wing. Wait, wait for him to chase that thing. And then land this thing a little early so we can see pop wing footage. What? Oh, why? Don't keep landing this. Uh, you use up the battery now, or or you want to? No, I'm landing it. Oh, you're gonna land it for? Oh, okay. You want to bring it in for a good landing? Okay. 
Now, are you going to use up the battery on this one here, or are you going to put the... When you land it, you're going to keep the battery on it, and then fly it up then later after you're done with the pop wing? All right, here we are. It's it's the signature pop wing with the DS name on it. It's been quite a while since I had this thing flying at night, so we're going to take it on. So, yep, DS. So, all right, I'm going to throw it. You can you just hold on the camera. Right. That's how, that, that goes 90 miles an hour, that plane. I'll tell you, they're launching a lot of those gondolas tonight. I mean, it's, it's you know, like over 15 years have gone by. I mean, and, uh, you know, he's 18 now. And it's just a hobby you never grow out of. I mean, the people that are into it are all adults, and, you know, and there's a whole airplane group that comes down here and they fly. And there's, there's planes, that one, this one guy brings on a plane that's as big as a person, you can fly a hamster in it. Oh, oh, yeah. oh yeah, I mean, the, the engine is three times bigger than that one there. And I mean, and the, and, the, uh, and the thing looks like a real plane. I mean, it's, it's a uh, full-size like Cessna. And you open up the cockpit, and you put, you can put a cat in. It would actually take a cat with it. I mean, that's how big the uh, engine is. Go up high with it, bud. Let's we'll do some gliding. But yeah, if you go to. Yeah. Yeah, that's got a three mile range on it. That thing can go really. Wow. Oh. oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. I just can't believe how high. Oh, yeah. I mean, and he can even go higher than that. Yeah, I mean, that, that's only maybe not even a mile right now. I mean, he can, he can go up there. Uh, Another, I think you can go two more miles yet with that plane. <laughs> that's the it's a matter of the receiver and the, oh yeah, I mean that's why says he can go higher than some of the planes that come in here. Wow. I'm surprised that some, I mean the helicopters have spotted. Uh, I'm surprised if any planes have spotted that yet. They probably have. Yeah. I mean, can you imagine going past something like that there, and you're like, what is those lights? It's like you know, <laughs> I mean those gondolas they burn out after a while. I think they only go about 500 feet in the air, but I mean, but. The, but the distance on this one here is something else to watch. Well, even any of them, that one there too, I mean, that, that, go, that one there goes three quarters of a mile in the air. And that just has a basic remote control with it. It's a great hobby for anybody. I mean, she wants to learn, you want to learn. I mean, and you come down here and you just enjoy the day. I mean, you talk about you find things for stress in it. I mean, with, with all the people that, you know, we, he's been teaching and getting into it. I mean, this afternoon we were down here flying and, you know, people take down the names and where to fly them at and get them. And, you know, some you, you can base it, you can go online to Laser Toys or Harbor Freight sells them also. I mean, they got beginner ones and that's what dad's going to have to get back into. I mean, I got to start flying the the slower one. <laughs> See, I don't touch this stuff. I mean, that one there I can do on because I mean, it's a big, that's a good, it can go from beginner to fast, you know, so I mean, it's a good beginner and advanced plane. Yeah, we fly down here a lot. We were down here last night flying, and I mean, the people just come out a lot. The, the night flying gets more than even during the daytime. Oh, I believe it because I mean, it like brings, yeah. it attracts you. <laughs> those those lights on that thing just really. Mm -hmm. Well, winter time. What's what's funny is I mean you know you run out because winter time it gets so dark, dark by six o'clock, you know, and, and like last winter it was so mild outside. And you come down here, and then a lot of times, you know, you know, by the time you get out of school and work, it's too dark to fly. So, 
that's why I said in the last couple of years, I mean, I started putting more lights on the plane. And that we started with that one there, that one in September. So by the time October rolled around this way here, I mean, by midwinter, we were down here. We were flying as cold as it was. We were down here all winter flying. <laughs> I mean, and your hands are freezing. It gives you me can't. To do, oh, pe people are coming up to you trying to find out where to go, and your lips are freezing. You're trying to talk. I mean, it's amazing. You're down, and you, you get so. The only thing that that freezes are maybe like your face and your hands because you're trying to cover them up. You know, you, you know, cover your body up, mm -hmm. and people are like. Can I, can you, I just stopped the recording. Okay.